Welcome to Chinese Pod. My name is Fiona. My name is Quillen. Today we have an elementary lesson about sports, describing whether you're good at them, and more importantly, how we give extra information on how well we do something. So, how do you say, "I'm really good at basketball. I run very slowly. I learn very quickly. I speak Chinese very well." So, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to form those sentences in Chinese. So in English, you would use adverbs, so things like quickly, slowly. Whereas in Chinese, you do it slightly differently, and that's what we're going to look at now. Now, I don't want you guys to be too worried about the grammar. So now let's listen to the dialogue. I want you to get the general gist of what's going on. Don't worry too much about the detail. We'll deal with that in the discussion. 对话第一遍。你的篮球打得真好。我足球踢得更好。真厉害。你还会什么运动？我跑步也跑得很快，我也喜欢游泳。你成绩很好，运动也那么好，真的很厉害。你也是学霸，别客气了。第二遍，你的篮球打得真好，我足球踢得更好，真厉害。你还会什么运动？我跑步也跑得很快，我也喜欢游泳。你成绩很好，运动也那么好。真的很厉害，你也是学霸，别客气了。第三遍，你的篮球打得真好，我足球踢得更好，真厉害。你还会什么运动？我跑步也跑得很快，我也喜欢游泳。你成绩很好，运动也那么好，真的很厉害。你也是学霸，别客气了。Okay, let's translate it. 你的篮球打得真好。You play basketball very well. 你的篮球打得真好。Your basketball playing is great. 我足球踢得更好。I play soccer even better. 我足球踢得更好。I play soccer even better. 真厉害！你还会什么运动 ？That's so impressive. What other sports can you play? 真厉害！你还会什么运动？ That's so impressive. What other exercises can you do? 我跑步也跑得很快。我也喜欢游泳。I also run quickly, and I like to swim. 我跑步也跑得很快。我也喜欢游泳。I also run very quickly, and I also like swimming. 你的成绩很好，运动也那么好，真的很厉害。Your grades are good. You're also very good at sports. You really are impressive. Your 成绩很好，运动也那么好，真的很厉害。Your achievements are great. You're also so good at sports. You really are amazing. 你也是学霸啊，别客气了。You're also a top student too. Don't be so polite. 你也是学霸啊，别客气了。You're also pretty awesome too. Don't be so polite. Okay, this person seems very polite, very complimentary. Well, I guess it's because this person is over accomplished. This person seems very good at a lot of things. So let's look at how we describe how we're good at something. First, let me give you an example sentence. The one you're going to hear the most when you're learning Chinese is, 你的中文说的真好。你的中文说的真好。So your Chinese spoken very well. Now the word for very well would be. 真好 So let me break that down for you. When describing the quality of an action, whether you're describing it being fast, slow, good, bad, impressive, not impressive, we need to add a the between the verb and how the verb has acted. So, 说的真好 spoken 的 very well. This the is often accidentally omitted by a lot of beginners. So, as a general tip, I would encourage you to write down a load of these sentences and just start saying them. Get the rhythm of it. Chinese 说的真好，篮球打的真好 Really remember to get that the in and almost do it rhythmically. Then you're not going to forget to use this the. And this the we like to call the second the, 
and we made a video about the three does a few weeks ago, so go check out that if you're interested. Okay, so now let's move on to this first sentence we hear in the dialogue. 你的篮球打得真好 So let's break that down. 你的 being your 篮球 Literally basketball. Mm -hmm, that's right. And the verb to play basketball is 打 打得真好 Really good. You play very well. So let's do that again. 你的篮球打得真好 so maybe repeat after me. 你的篮球打得真好 Hey guys, it's Michael here at Chinese Pod, And we want to say thank you to all of our faithful subscribers. If you're not registered yet, head over to ChinesePod.com now and get 20% off. We got promo codes, promo codes. Promo codes, promo codes. Register now at ChinesePod.com promo code get 20 at checkout to get 20% off your first year. Very good. Did you guys remember to add the da? Next, we hear an even higher degree of doing well, right? We hear even better, and that is 更好, 更好. And in this case, we're talking about football, which is 足球, and this is soccer. 没错, 足球, and the verb to play soccer is 踢, to kick. 我足球踢得更好. Now here, 我的, the the is omitted. That's okay, right? Because we know that you're talking about your football skills. 我足球踢得更好 Maybe you speak other foreign languages. You can say, 我英文说得更好 My English is even better. So in these two sentences, just even in these first two phrases, feel free to add different actions and different qualities at the end of it and get a little list together. Just make sure you're adding that the. Now, chen li hai is an excellent phrase when you're beginning and it means to be amazing or very impressive. Now, this isn't just an elementary phrase. This this will carry you on to advance. It just means very impressive. When someone has very impressive skills and you would like to compliment them, you can use wow, chen li hai. 那个人真厉害. Now, if you look it up in the dictionary, it's got many kind of meanings, often paired with tigers to mean fierce. But in most cases, it basically means awesome. Now, next, they want to find out if they play other sports. 你还会什么运动? 你还会什么运动? Now, in this case, 还 means furthermore, and 会 is the ability to do something. So, what other sports can you do? Yeah. What other sports do you have the ability to do? Now, he lists two. First being running, which is 跑步. And the second one is swimming, 游泳. Now, first, let's get the verbs sorted. In the first two examples, the verbs were very clear. 打篮球, 踢足球. There's almost like a separate verb from the activity, right? So you can say, 我篮球打得真好. 我足球 踢得很好 With 游泳 and 跑步 The verb is built in, right? It's a VO compound So what do we do with these verbs? Okay, to deal with this, we just duplicate the verb Yes, that's right So like before, we say 篮球打得真好 Here, let's say with 跑步, we say 我跑步跑得很快 So we take the V part of the VO compound. Which is always at the start. Yes, that's right. And we use that. So let's see how we do that. 跑步. So 跑 is the verb component in 游泳. 游 is the verb component. Okay, so listen to these two examples. 跑步跑得很快. 游泳游得很慢. So I run very quickly or I swim very slowly. So already now we've given you two ways to further describe your activities. When you have a specific verb, you simply have to use that verb with the, and then the thing you want to describe. 篮球打得真好 And when it's a VO compound, you simply repeat the V aspect of the VO compound. 跑步跑得真快 Now, if you just want to shorten your sentence and you don't want to necessarily say the noun for running, could mm -hmm. you just say, I run quickly? Aha, good question there, Guilin. So in Chinese, when the context is clear, you can drop certain bits of information. In this case, you don't always have to say 
跑步跑得很快，我游泳游得很慢。Although when you're making a statement, you do have to give this full form. If you're answering a question, perhaps you can say, 我游得很慢 So maybe someone's asking you,、uh, how fast or how quickly did you swim yesterday? I can be like, 嗯，我昨天游得很慢 So I swam very slowly yesterday. Okay, now we've got some of those examples. They move on and say, "Your grades are really good." Hmm. They say, "Ni cheng ji hen hao." What's cheng ji? This is the word for a grade in school. It can also mean achievements. Hmm. That's right. And just to note, the pronunciation in Taiwan is cheng ji, second tone, first tone. Now, this person doesn't only have good grades; they're also good at sport. They really are an all-rounder. So, if you want to compliment someone and say they're Awesome, or they're so impressive in their skills. What do we say? So some common forms of that is "Wow, 好厉害！你真的很厉害。Yeah, people are very complimentary. I'm sure you're going to hear this phrase a lot. That is a fourth tone and a neutral tone. I feel like this is one of those phrases that, when translated into English, sounds a bit awkward. Because, like in English, you wouldn't go around being like, "Wow, that's you're so impressive."、Um, but in Chinese, this is super natural. It's a very natural way to compliment someone on their skills. Now this person, their ears are burning. They're feeling a bit embarrassed, so they say, "Well, you are also very good. You're a top student." And we、ah. hear, and we hear a bit of slang. Yes, this is. I would say this is kind of a new bit of slang that's come about recently in the last couple of years, and that is 学霸学霸 So I do just want to note here that this is definitely more advanced vocabulary, but we wanted to give you guys a bit of slang, right? A bit of slang early on, just to spice up your learning. Now, Guilam's going to give you a breakdown of the term. So, 学 means to learn, and this ba character is actually kind of a word for a, a lord or a tyrant or some sort of chief. Yeah. So imagine the top student lords over the school because of their high academic accomplishments. So if you know someone that school that's not only academic but super sporty, you can call them a 学霸 Although generally, I feel like in Asia, this definitely leans more towards the academic side than the sporty side. So if someone is like the top student at all of their subjects in their school, then this person is definitely a 学霸 So the definition is a top student, but there's also a definition of bookworm. So would you say this was a complimentary phrase or a bit of a neg? It's definitely a complimentary phrase, right? So I feel like bookworm in English. I,、um, I feel like definitely in the Asian context, someone that's academic is something to be respected. Someone that's 非常厉害 Awesome. Okay. Well, how about we listen to the dialogue three more times? Okay, now that we're listening to the dialogue again, I want you guys to pay attention to those two different ways that we form the the sentences. Yeah, listen out for the duplication of the verb and the one without it. All right, 我们来听听今天的对话。对话第一遍。Oh my God! What's wrong? Look at this illegal letter. See? They claim that our product name and website infringes on their trademark. But we have a registered website and a domain name. But did you ever file a trademark? Um, they are actually demanding that we sign over our domain name. Did you know that not having a trademark registration is not only important for the brands and trade names you use for your goods and services, but also for your website? Don't risk losing your domain name. And social media pages because of a trademark dispute. The Trademarkers Network of Intellectual Property Attorneys can file your trademark reliably and also give you guidance if someone else before you has filed or registered a trademark with your brand. Go to www.trademarkers.com today to make sure you get the brand protection you deserve. Your basketball is really good. My basketball is even better. 真厉害！你还会什么运动？我跑步也跑得很快，我也喜欢游泳。你成绩很好，运动也那么好，真的很厉害。你也是学霸，别客气了。第二遍，你的篮球打得真好，我足球踢得更好。真厉害！你还会什么运动？我跑步也跑得很快，我也喜欢游泳。你成绩很好。运动也那么好，真的很厉害。你也是学霸，别客气了。第三遍
，你的篮球打得真好，我足球踢得更好，真厉害！你还会什么运动？我跑步也跑得很快，我也喜欢游泳。你成绩很好，运动也那么好，真的很厉害。你也是学霸，别客气了。So I feel like this lesson is a good revision of what we've been covering in the last few weeks.、Mm -hmm, in the Qingwen's. Yeah, so in the Qingwen we did the da da da, but also in the previous elementaries with Dan we learnt some of the sports and some of the verbs that go with that.、Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen those, do go check that out. This lesson is more like an expansion out of those lessons to give you a bit more of a practical feel for this. The structure. Now, this is one of those things that, like I said in the lesson, that a lot of beginners miss out on, and it makes your Mandarin sound just that bit unnatural. So remember, Chinese said it very well. Basketball played very well. Swimming played very fast. Just remember to get that "da" in, and if it takes a couple of repetitions, don't worry about it. Right? Just practice it a couple of times. You'll really get a rhythm for it. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's class, and we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you next time. See you next time. As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number three zero three one. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/three zero three one, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/three zero three one. Chinese Pod, Chinese Pod.